Hours ago, Prince William met with President Biden at the JFK Library. WBZ's Christina Hager's live in Dorchester. And Christina, this meeting was short, but definitely symbolic. Yeah, think about it, Lisa. Under one roof, we had the legacy of the Kennedy family, the royal legacy, and a sitting U.S. president. And now this building, which the prince called iconic today, is all lit up in green, signifying his commitment to the environment. It was already a history-making event before President Joe Biden dropped in, shaking hands with the Prince of Wales. Hours earlier, in the same spot, the prince was greeted by the daughter of another U.S. president, whose words inspired the prince's pledge to protect the Earth's climate. Ambassador to Australia, Caroline Kennedy, along with her son and daughter. So here's the speech. Showing the prince her father, John F. Kennedy's moonshot speech. Speech, the one that gave Prince William the idea to call his own initiative Earthshot. Yeah, there's a lot of important people here today and um, talking about uh, the, the most important issue of our time. It's the first time the royal couple split ways during their three-day visit, Princess Catherine leaving her signature at Harvard University's Center on the Developing Child. And as she left, she was heard musing about a future return. Everyone says he has to come back in warmer climates. Yes. 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 A contrast to the crowd around her husband, raucous political messages mixed with admiration for history. So this is the first time we actually get to be here in the presence of both President Biden and the Royals, so I think that just kind of boosts the excitement a little bit more. To be able to have such like easy access to such like historical events is like it's incredible. When we first got here, this parking lot was filling up with fans of the Royals, but things changed when, right before the president's arrival when a group of uh, railroad union protesters showed up. Things took on a whole different tone out here until the prince and the president both left with a lot of security around them. Live in Dorchester, Christina Hager, WBZ News. Christina, thank you.